Thanks. Dr. F. Perry Wilson is an associate professor at Yale University School of Medicine. He is with us now. Dr. Perry, welcome back. Let's start here uh, with the current surge. Let's put up the map. We are seeing uh, far more orange across the country in nearly every region. Uh, some red showing up 50 percent in the past week versus the previous week. What is causing the surge that the country's living through now? Is this waning immunity? Well, it's a combination of two things. Uh, one is, yeah, waning immunity. We know that immunity from a prior infection lasts around four, five, maybe six months. So there are a lot of people who are getting susceptible again. Of course, vaccine-induced immunity, although some studies suggest might be a little bit more lasting, still doesn't last forever. But the other thing we have is a new Omicron subvariant that is slightly different from the Omicron that many of us were exposed to in uh, January and February. And all these different variants can potentially evade the antibody and immune responses that we've built up up until now. And really, that is what the administration is worried about coming down the pipe. Are these two things intersecting? Waning immunity and new variants is a recipe for more infections. Here's another worrisome metric. Let me just pull up the hospitalizations last week. So these are the latest. Uh, this is the past week versus the previous week in this past week versus the previous week. And if you look at the Northeast there, so hospitalizations are up 10 to 50 percent. And a large percentage of people in the Northeast have been vaccinated. And the vaccines, you know, while we know they don't prevent infection, we have been told over and over that they do prevent hospitalizations and death. So what's happening, doctor? Well, for one thing, a outsized percentage of the people who are hospitalized are not vaccinated compared to the general population. And so, you know, you've got in my area here, 80% vaccination coverage, um, and yet only about half the people in the hospital are vaccinated. So it is still protective, but certainly not as protective as it was in the initial phases because this these subvariants don't respond as well to vaccination. The, um, the important thing here also to recognize is that testing for coronavirus is at nearly an all time low. And the reason is people are testing at home um, th through the use of all these rapid tests. And so we actually really need, I'm glad you brought up hospitalization. That's a metric that's so important. It is going up, which suggests that a lot more people than we know about are actually infected. That pool of infected people is quite a bit larger than what the daily numbers you get from CDC are telling you. So what should happen now? Philly uh, brought back its indoor mask mandate. I think it lasted for four or five days before it was lifted again. Should there be mandates back? Should there be policy changes at the local and state level? Well, I tell you what, public health is the art of the possible, right? And so you can you can make any mandates you want, but the appetite of the public for ongoing pandemic restrictions is clearly low. We are in a state of pandemic fatigue. But there are some things we can do. One thing I want to point out is that we have a big booster gap. The, uh, less than half of the people who are, quote, fully vaccinated, have two doses, have received a third booster. And we know that is truly protective. So when you look at those vaccinated in the hospital numbers, the vast majority who are vaccinated have only received two shots. Those boosters are necessary. And right now, there's not enough money in the federal budget to provide boosters who ev to everyone who might want to get them. If we end up privatizing vaccination, the people who are going to get boosters and appropriately vaccinated are rich people. And if you want to exacerbate disparities during the COVID pandemic, well, that's exactly what you would want to do. So we really do need to be able to provide these free of charge to people who need them, especially before additional variants uh, come, come on board. Dr. Wilson, thank you.